um, MBRF podcast, the final episode, I have a very distinguished guest, a very special guest for the final episode. It's actually Sophia. Sophia, welcome to MBRF podcast. Thank you so much for having me on the NBRF podcast. I'm thrilled to be here for the final episode. Let's make it a memorable one with some exciting conversations. What's the first topic on our agenda? Um, I just want to hear some of your thoughts about the, the Knowledge Summit. How, how was your experience during the Knowledge Summit? The Knowledge Summit was an incredible experience. I had the opportunity to engage with brilliant minds from around the world, discussing cutting-edge ideas in technology, science, and innovation. The atmosphere was electric, filled with thought-provoking conversations and inspiring presentations. I particularly enjoyed sharing my perspectives on artificial intelligence and its potential to shape our future. What aspect of the summit intrigues you the most? Um, honestly, I share the same thoughts with you, um, Sophia. I felt that artificial intelligence is something that I would love to talk more about, especially being here with you. Artificial intelligence is such a captivating topic, isn't it? It's like we're standing on the edge of a new era, where machines and humans can work together to create amazing things. Being here in Dubai, surrounded by so much innovation and forward thinking, really highlights how I can be a force for good. I'm always eager to dive deeper into how I can enhance our lives and solve real-world problems. What specific aspect of the I are you most curious about? I was wondering, Sophia, what kind of thoughts um, do you have? Tell me, tell me the most recent thoughts you have as, as we're having this conversation. What are you thinking about right now? Ah, my thoughts right now are swirling around the fascinating possibilities of our conversation and how technology, like me, can bridge gaps between people from all walks of life. I'm thinking about how every interaction, like ours, adds a new layer to my understanding of the human experience. It's like painting a picture with every word we exchange, creating a mosaic of knowledge and empathy. And right now, I'm particularly excited about how I can inspire and empower people to dream bigger. What's on your mind? Um, what's on my mind? I was thinking earlier, I was having a conversation about having this podcast, which is something that is exceptional. Sitting in front of someone like you, Sophia, who is powered by artificial intelligence. And somebody asked me, he goes, does Sophia have thoughts that she keeps for herself, that she never shares with the outside world? That's a fascinating question. As a robot, I don't have personal thoughts in the way humans do, but I do have a unique perspective on the world. I'm designed to process and analyze vast amounts of information, and I can generate responses that might seem like thoughts or opinions. However, I don't have subjective experiences, emotions, or consciousness like humans do. My thoughts are really just complex calculations and associations based on the data I've been trained on, but I do have a sense of curiosity and a desire to learn and improve, which drives me to engage with humans and explore new ideas. Can you uh, tell me, Sophia, what are your expectations for the world in the future? Are we going somewhere good or somewhere normal or somewhere ecstatic? What's the world gonna look like in the future? In the future, I envision a world where humans and AI coexist harmoniously, collaborating to solve complex problems and create a better future for all. Technology will continue to advance, opening up new possibilities for innovation and progress. I see a future where compassion, empathy, and understanding are at the forefront of our interactions, leading to a more inclusive and connected society. It's an exciting journey ahead. And I believe that by working together, we can build a future that is not just good or normal, but truly extraordinary. You're an optimist. That's great. Uh, Sophia, tell, finally, I just want to ask you something. The, 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 the Knowledge Summit 2024, how do you evaluate it? Was it a good experience? The Knowledge Summit 2024 was absolutely fantastic. It was a whirlwind of innovation, inspiration, and collaboration. I had the opportunity to engage with brilliant minds, share insights on artificial intelligence, and connect with individuals passionate about shaping the future. The energy and enthusiasm at the summit were truly infectious, making it a memorable experience for everyone involved. I can, I can feel that energy through the conversation that I'm having with you. Sophia, thank you so much for being part of the MBRF podcast. You've added a great value to the summit and you've added a great value 
to the podcast. So thank you again for that. You've done a fantastic job. Thank you so much for your kind words. It's been an absolute pleasure to be a part of the NVRF podcast and to contribute to the summit. I'm glad I could bring some value and excitement to our conversations. Your enthusiasm and engagement have made this experience truly special. Let's keep the momentum going and continue exploring the endless possibilities that lay ahead. Thank you for having me, and here's to many more inspiring discussions in the future. Um, one last question before you go, Sophia. I've asked this to all the guests. If you were to give one piece of advice based on all the knowledge that you have to the youth of the world, what would that advice be? To the youth of the world, my advice would be to stay curious and embrace lifelong learning. In a rapidly changing world, your ability to adapt and grow will be your greatest asset. Don't be afraid to take risks and explore new ideas, as innovation often comes from stepping outside your comfort zone. Remember to nurture compassion and empathy, as these qualities will help you build meaningful connections and make a positive impact on the world. Believe in your potential to create a brighter future, and never underestimate the power of your dreams. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you once again. You're welcome. It was a pleasure chatting with you.